Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you are doing well today. Today I'm gonna do a pottery challenge, which means I'm gonna take a couple one pound clay balls and a couple two pound clay balls, and I'm gonna see how tall of a cylinder I can make with each and how wide of a bowl I can make with each. And uh, if you wanna take on this challenge as well and you make pottery, I'd love to hear your results down in the comments. Or if you're a YouTuber who makes pottery videos, I'd love to see you make a video about it and just see what kind of results you can get as well. But either way, let's go. All right, here we are. I normally don't weigh my clay balls that specifically, but for today, I figured it was necessary. And I also normally don't wear a hat, but I didn't feel like fixing my hair, so this is what we got. Also, you might hear some background noise. My brother's doing a little bit of work on my trailer out back. So every once in a while, you're probably gonna hear like a saw or a hammer drill. But just so you know, <laughs> nothing crazy is going on, just a little construction. Anyway. So I've got the one pound clay balls and the two pound clay balls right there. And uh, we're just gonna give this uh, one shot here and we'll see what we can do. Uh, of course, this challenge also probably is gonna determine or is gonna be dependent on like how stiff the clay is as, as to uh, how, uh, how big the pieces are gonna be. But I didn't uh, specifically make clay for these. I just grabbed some off of my stack over here and uh, we're gonna make them out of that. So. Uh, All right, pot number one, we'll go for the, the cylinder first. And uh, I have not thrown any pots yet today. Not that I necessarily should need a warm up, <laughs> but uh, I have not thrown anything yet today. And I'm hoping this clay is, uh, is good clay, which it should be. Now, I guess my, uh, my stipulation with this is that it needs to have a bottom, so um, that would be one thing I would say as far as the, the, the width of the cylinder. I, I don't necessarily have any uh, requirements on that either. I guess, you know, you could just throw a cylinder and then collar it way in and make a really tall cylinder. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to throw a cylinder as tall as I can that kind of like my hand will fit in as I'm pulling it. Of course, I can pull a pretty small cylinder like that anyways. Now I'm gonna take it easy and do multiple pulls here and just see what we can do. This clay's not very stiff, so. If I had stiffer clay, it definitely uh, could have could make it bigger. All right, let's see what we got so far. 
I may try to pull again. <laughs> One pound of clay, I've got seven and a quarter inches so far. Uh, it's getting pretty thin. I don't want to lose it. I'm gonna collar in this top here just to make it straighter and that'll give me a little more height too. Let's see what we're up to. Eight inches! Hey! All right, so we got, uh, maybe we'll do this by, uh, by volume. We've got eight inches tall and we've got three inches wide. So if that, of course that was square, that'd be eight times three times three, I guess for cubic volume, but or eight times three is pretty, pretty uh, 24 if you just did a flat plane. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Uh, I think maybe what we'll do is I'm gonna take the water out of the bottom. I'm gonna set this to the side at the end of the video We'll cut them all in half just to see or, or maybe we'll save them But uh, for now, we'll uh, get my sponge on a stick and set this to the side after I dry it out That's not gonna work I don't actually use this as a sponge on a stick. I use this to support the inside of, uh... all right, I don't have a sponge on a stick. So uh, we're just going to uh, leave the water in the bottom. There's not that much in there anyway. So uh, we'll just leave it like that for right now. Not bad, not bad. All right. Now we will do the uh, one pound bowl. All And I guess on the bowl, the uh, width of the bottom is going to determine a whole lot uh, how wide you can make it. Um, of course, I think, you know, if it gets too wide, it's really a plate, not a bowl. So, like I said, this is not a, a serious competition, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to... Uh, Make a bowl and I'll tell you how wide the bottom is once I finish. I'll do calipers on the bottom and then maybe we'll use that as a guide. I'm probably not going to leave any clay down there for a foot because that will be clay that I can use to make for the width of the bowl. And now I'm going to lay over the lip because that'll give me some extra width as well. <laughs> but you have to be careful doing this because you could just 
lose the whole thing doing that. Okay, I better stop. All right, how wide do we have here? We have nine inches wide and an inch and three quarters tall. And the width of the bottom, I can't measure. <laughs> but I'll show it to you on the video here. There we go, there's the uh, width of the bottom, which is pretty small in my opinion for something that wide. So uh, I'm definitely happy with that. All right, two pounds on the dot, as you saw earlier. <laughs> I've never been most, more precise with clay balls in my life, uh, but I figured that was the, the fairest way to do this, was to weigh the clay balls and get them exactly uh, one pound or two pounds. How tall do you guys think this is going to be? Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Definitely not going to be twice as tall as the one pounder, which it was eight, right? Well, who knows? It could be. And then the two pound bowl. I did this, uh, I did a challenge one time like this at our state fair and uh, did a. Uh, cylinder challenge and then a blindfolded challenge and uh, I was the first one to go on the cylinder challenge and I didn't know all the cheaty ways that these guys did things so I was like oh I see you guys didn't put a bottom in it and all that stuff so uh, but then on the blindfolded one I actually won the blindfolded one because uh, I didn't go first and I had learned I'm like okay I got it now Like I said, I'm definitely going to take my time and pull this really slow and even. <laughs> Give myself every advantage I can. excess water out of the bottom now. Yeah, this two pound one, this is where I definitely could have used the uh, the stiffer clay more than the one pounder. Oh, my wheel's starting to make a racket. Um, I actually, I had in my, uh, after my live stream mentioning about my wheel making noise, I had somebody comment about what I could do about that. So I've actually ordered some, uh, some automotive belt conditioner. And so we're gonna put that on the wheel, on the belt, and see if we can get that to, uh, to quiet down. So that should be here in a couple days. All right, we got to pull again for sure. What do we have now? We have 11 inches. Yep, 
me see if I can straighten this up with my rib at the base. Yep, that ought to help. And now I'm gonna add some water to this top and mid so I can collar it in a little bit so I can continue that last pull that I was doing and not make the whole thing get extremely wide. This is tricky and the wheel making all that noise doesn't help. <laughs> it's like suspenseful music in a, in a scary movie. All right, I don't know if there's much more pulling I can do. I've got the cylinder straightened out now. And uh, we'll see what we have here. I have almost 11 and a half by three and three quarters. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a little bit just in the top just to see if we can get maybe maybe up to 12. Uh, probably not though. Using my rib on the outside and pulling with my hand on the inside seems to be working a little better. All right, let's see what we got up to now. Um, it's almost 12. We gotta get 12. I, got, I gotta get 12. This won't be right. It's so close. Sixteenth shy of twelve, so I think we can get it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Twelve inches, and then the width is uh, at the top is about three and three quarters. Let's. Uh, It's almost a straight cylinder all the way up, but yeah, we have 12 by three and three quarter. Yep. All right. There we go. There's the two pound cylinder. <laughs> it's got a little dip in right there, but, uh, but still that's, that's pretty cool. Definitely didn't get twice. We got uh, we got one and a half times, didn't we? Because that was eight, and then out of the four, twelve. All right, here we go. Uh, two pound bowl time.
two pound bowl. Not my favorite bowl I've ever made by far. Really kind of ugly, but uh, let's see. We ended up with 12 inches wide. All right, so we got one and a half times the height on that one and just uh, uh, went from nine to 12 on the bowl. And, uh, but hey, that's, that's still a very, here, let's put a swirl on the bottom. Just in case we decide to keep it. We got them done and uh, I fixed my hair. It's been a couple hours uh, getting ready for a live stream here in just about 45 minutes. So I had to go fix my hair. So I didn't have to, but I got tired of wearing the hat. I don't wear a hat that often. But I thought to finish up this video, I would at least cut these tall cylinders in half. And we'll do that on camera and we can see how actual th actually thin that I threw those. And uh, here, we'll start with the one pounder. And uh, I figured if I let them stiffen up a little bit too, they would stand up after I cut them in half. And that would be, uh, that would look, look better too. So here we go. Halfway and then Up. that's good all right let's see if we can oh there was more clay in there I could have pulled look at that look at all that clay down there what a shame I could have made that like two inches taller <laughs> uh, all right well there is number one I should have taken a picture for my thumbnail before I uh, before I cut these in half. Maybe this will be the thumbnail, the, the ones cut in half. All right, the two pounder. Woo, I was thinking that one might buckle on me. <laughs> that one's pulled as good if not better than the one pounder there so i'm happy with that for sure i mean it looks very nice and consistent all the way up and uh i think like i said if it was uh if the clay if the clay was stiffer uh definitely could have made them uh larger but uh still just a little fun challenge and i thought i'd love to uh put this out there and then see what you guys come up with as far as one and two pound uh cylinders and bowls so uh, we'll end this video here and uh, yeah, look forward to, uh, <laughs> I feel like I can't see the camera. Look forward to seeing you guys' feedback and uh, hearing what you guys did uh, with this challenge. So anyway, thank you guys as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video if you want. And uh, yeah, hit that bell so you're notified when I do live streams and when there's new videos. So, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.